everyone and welcome back to another video and welcome to my house um so today i'm gonna be filming i just got out of the shower and it's like early on a saturday morning so i'm looking a little crazy but today i'm gonna be filming a home tour for you guys and i'm not wearing cute clothes because thankfully i don't really have to be in this video which is great um but yeah i feel like i haven't filmed a home tour in a really long time and a lot has changed and we've kind of updated a lot so I'm going to show you everything besides the guest room, because if you want to see the guest room, you should go watch the video two videos ago where I redid that. Um, but I'm going to show you everything else. And I'm also going to introduce you to all of our animals because I know you guys want to meet them. So I think I'm just going to get started and kind of go room by room and give you a little home tour and home update and see what you think. This is our main living room, our main living area. And um, I'm going to shut this door really quick. Basically, kind of right as you walk in the front door, I have this little marble top antique credenza type thing right here. I've had this here for a while, so you guys will probably have seen it before, but I'm kind of always changing up the little vignette that I have on top. Right now I have some ivy, um, an orchid, and a little, a few little books and things like that. Beeswax candles are my favorite, so I always have lots and lots of taper candles around. Um, and then I just have a little bit of decor here, some straw hats, and then I'll rotate you guys through this side of the room over to here. This is kind of like the little hall tree that I have, um, which was actually made my great grandfather, which is really cool. And right now I just have, this is the basket that I take to the farmer's market. So I have that hanging right there and then some little pots and like decor. This door leads to our side porch, which is where some of our bunnies are living right now. <laughs> So that's where this door goes, and then this door is like to our front little patio, which you can go straight out the front door. And that's our neighbors, but they have a beautiful house right across from us. We love that. So this room, we have, basically we kind of keep this room for entertaining. We hang out here sometimes, but because we don't have a TV here and we watch a lot of TV at night, we don't like hang out here a ton in the evening and things like that. But we both, Eric and I both really like to sit in those two chairs right there because they're super comfy and nice by the window. So I have tons of art in this room. Like this is where most of my antique art is. Um, and a lot of my little like antique accessories I have on the mantle. I have tons and tons of old books in here. And I would say this room is definitely very maximalist. English country grandma vibe um over here i love using antique terrines as decor um i have lots of books and old pictures terracotta i love and then obviously lots and lots of taper candles these two chairs i had custom upholstered in this kind of like sagey green stripe which i really like it's just a cotton this couch i thrifted it's originally from restoration hardware and i put some little pillows on it of like different patterns because I really like having lots and lots and lots of clashing patterns. <laughs> I love the color of this um, coffee table. It's not like my favorite piece of furniture ever, but I really, really like the wood color of it, I think is nice. We recently painted the fireplace, which used to just be a white brick, this Williamsburg blue color. It's from the historic collection, I think of Benjamin Moore paints, and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, more antique art, and then this is one of the pieces that everyone always asks me about. This is a antique gold mirror, it's obviously very huge, um, that I got from the ReStore. Actually, my friend Olivia found it, and it had been originally used as like a dressing room mirror in the um, Club Monaco in New York, which is really fun. And I don't really know anything about it, like how old it is or anything, but pretty old and it's in great shape. It has some like speckling and stuff on the mirror, but I think that just makes it kind of fun and unique. Our house in general is um, about a hundred years old and it was owned by the same family for the entire time until we bought it a year ago. And we haven't changed much. I mean, we've painted, but everything else we've kept the same. I think eventually we'll want to redo the kitchen, but that's pretty much it. I all had almost all the rooms have this picture molding which we love um and it makes it really nice so you can hang your pictures from that instead of putting holes in your wall which is awesome this is just a little chaise lounge that we have that's in this red toile with little dogs on it 
I love it so much. And I will say 99% of everything in my house is thrifted. I cannot actually looking at it right now. The only things that I know are not thrifted are those two pillows. I got those from Target. Everything else that I'm looking at, I thrifted, which is great. Like the curtains are thrifted, every single item of furniture, the light fixtures, everything. And it's just been kind of a long process of collecting and then eventually, you know, finding homes for all these different pieces. Okay, so that was the living room. Now I'm gonna walk you guys into the bathroom and the bedroom and I'll do the dining room and the breakfast nook and maybe a little bit of the kitchen. Our kitchen is like my least favorite space because it definitely needs to be redone. And yeah, you'll see, it's not the best, but I'll walk you through the rest of everything. Okay, continuing on. If you go in this room, that's the guest room. I'm not gonna show you because you need to go watch the other video. But we kind of have this like little landing here. I love our original hardwood floors. I think they're awesome. This house has a lot of funny quirks, like things that I don't love. And then it has tons of things that are, are so cool and original and old. Um, and so you kind of just have to like, it's the good and the bad of living in a really old house, I would say. So we recently redid this bathroom, not like a entire overhaul, but um, just like a few things. So we put in new flooring um, because I really, it was like in linoleum before. So we put in this new flooring and then we put in this antique wash sink. We did all new sink, obviously, new lighting. And then we wallpapered the entire room, like above the tile. So over here, it's all wallpapered as well. And I love it. It's like this little farm scene, which is very, very sweet. And then I just have some more antique art in here and little bits and bobs, little things that I thrifted and like to use for storage. I have a little herb in here. And yeah, that is the bathroom, small, and it's the only one we have in this house currently. So I think in the future, we'll definitely be looking to add a bathroom. That would be very, very high on our list of things to do. All right, so leaving the bathroom next, we will walk into our bedroom. So this is the main bedroom that Eric and I use for our bedroom. I recently thrifted this antique, I think it's pine um, bed frame, headboard, footboard, I guess. And I love it so much. I've kind of like, the way that this room was situated, it was difficult to figure out where to put the bed without making the room feel super cramped. So this is where we ended up. Obviously we're covering up a portion of that window, but I think it's okay. I think it works because we still have this other window here. So it's not shutting out too much light and it just ended up being the best setup. Um, so I like to have tons and tons of pillows on the bed. So, and lots of mixed prints. And then over here, this is one of our dressers. We've got some little books and things on there. And then I use two more of those kind of gingham um, curtains to kind of frame the bed area. And then right here we have our little, um, well, this is really like my little kind of desk. What's the word? Like, I don't know. There's a word for this and I don't know why I'm blanking, but I have some books, some little decor. I've got 
some beautiful blue taper candles, some art, lots of vintage art. And then these are two prints from my friend Chloe, Coco Shalom on Instagram, and then a hat. You guys will see, I really like to use straw hats in my decor. I know it's like a little silly, but it's definitely one of my favorite things to use. So leading from the bedroom straight into my dressing room, which has all of my clothing. It's quite overwhelming. I obviously have lots and lots and lots of clothing, but because we don't have like tons of other storage, this is literally all of my clothing is out here, um, which is nice because it all gets to breathe, but obviously it's a lot. Um, but that's just kind of the nature of what I do on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. That's okay. I like it and I kind of am consistently going through and doing closet sales and things like that. Um, so this is a piece of pine antique furniture that I bought from someone on Facebook and I love it so much. I just think it's beautiful. I love the details. I love the color of the wood. I just really, really like it. So I have some stuff in there and then obviously more straw hats which is very typical. I like that I can see the backyard from this window, which is really nice. And we've got a really big garden going out there too, which is very pretty. So I like having that view. Obviously all of my dresses, some little accessories, some more hats up there and more clothing. Okay, so leaving this section, we have this little hallway right here, which leads us into this little breakfast nook. If you go this way, you're in the kitchen. If you go this way, you're in the dining room. And in between is this tiny little nook, which I think eventually will knock this wall out and this wall out and make it one really big opening um, with the bigger kitchen. But for now, I just have some art and this little table right here. I typically tend to like eat breakfast or something right here. And I have some fresh flowers that I just got at the farmer's market and peaches that I just got at the farmer's market. And some more little doodads, things for decor. This blue cabinet that I thrifted, which I love, love, love. Same here as in all the other rooms, like 99% of everything is thrifted. I can't really think of anything new besides this rug, which was gifted to me by Ruggable, and I love it so much. Highly, highly recommend trying out their rugs. Not sponsored. I just really, really like their rugs. <laughs> and then if you leave this little room, Okay, and then we head into the kitchen. The most, we use our kitchen a ton, but it's the like our least favorite space in the house because it still needs so much work done to it. Um, and I think eventually we would knock this wall out and just have one big kitchen with real marble countertops. And I would love a big porcelain sink. Um, I would still probably do like white or maybe kind of like a mushroomy color with gold because I do really like the gold fixtures. But right now I just kind of have a lot of little things in here, cookbooks, um, cutting boards, lots and lots of my little antique decor pieces, all of my antique cookware and regular cookware that we use. <laughs> all of our appliances are pretty old and don't work super well, but that's okay. Um, you know, it is what it is. And eventually I think we'll upgrade. This is our fridge. And then in here, this room is our little laundry room, which I won't walk you in because it's very crusty back there, I will admit. Okay, and last but not least, this is my dining room. So I have this really big antique table that I've got kind of right down the center of the room with these chairs that I thrifted that are actually in Pottery Barn because I love a covered chair so much. 
Um, and then I have this antique pine. This is like early 1800s English pine cabinet. They probably used it for um, stoneware or like, man, what's the word for that? Um, iron, kind of like iron dishware. Um, and then two extra chairs. So when we have people over, we can put like one here and one there. I have a little bar area right here that has um, all of our various alcohols and then things like that um, with some art art here. This is kind of that same green as the kitchen was. And I kind of always switch up the little table decorations. This is what I have right now, very springy, which I like a lot. And then my piano is over in this corner with some more art. And yeah, that's pretty much the entire dining room. It's not a huge room, but it is very, very pretty and we use it often. And we have, we entertain a lot. And so it's been a great space for us to entertain and have people. Okay, before we end the video, I thought I would come out here and show you guys our garden really quick. That is Bubba, our English Mastiff. And well, his name is actually Alpha, so we call him Bubba. Hi, buddy. <laughs> and then this is our chicken coop. And usually we let them out in the yard, but they're just inside right now. We've got four chickens in there and they actually just started laying. We can check and see if there's an egg in here. Uh, I'm not seeing one. But they just recently started laying. They're really, really sweet. They're a little like crazed right now because they are trying to figure out why eggs are coming out of their bodies because <laughs> that's never happened to them before. Anyways, over here is our garden. So I'll just give you a quick little tour. Right here we have yellow raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and then it's a little weedy right now. Now we need to come in and weed it. Um, squash, yellow squash, squash over there. This is all watermelon right here. Um, tomatoes, I don't remember exactly which type of tomato this is, but they're growing really well. Um, we have lavender, rosemary, I have two different types of mint under here, but it's getting absolutely squashed, like squash and killed by the squash. Squash by the squash. <laughs> and then, what are these little guys? Okras. Um, more squash, more tomatoes, beans, runner beans, Lots and lots more tomatoes with little marigolds planted in between. This was our strawberry patch. Most of the strawberries were eaten by animals, which is a bummer, but it is what it is. Um, more beans, some lettuce, cucumbers, peppers. Our jalapenos are coming along very nicely. Um, cucumbers are, <laughs> this is mint and then catnip which has absolutely exploded. Thyme, dill, um, lots and lots and lots of basil, more squash, sage. And then we have, oh no, wow, one of Eric's chance is falling over. Um, some, what is that? Cayenne peppers, cabbage, a bunch more tomatoes, collard greens, and lots and lots of beans that are kind of working their way up this fence here. So that is everything. It is all honestly really, really exploded over here on this side. Tons and tons and tons of things are growing right now. And this sad little guy keeps swapping over because he's kind of top heavy. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and just coming on a little home tour with me. I'm glad you guys are here and I hope you enjoy it. I know this isn't like the most exciting video, but I do like to up you, update you guys every once in a while kind of on what's new in the house and what I'm using where and how I'm using all these items that I'm thrifting all the time. So I really, really wanted to show you guys where the house was right now. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!